All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we're going to be doing my preview for Barcelona versus Valencia at the camp now, guys. So we're going to go ahead and look into this game. We're going to do we're going to look at the insights for this game. Uh, then we're going to look at the predicted lineups. And then we're going to give you guys a score prediction at the end. So let's start with the insights. Barcelona won their last four games against Valencia La Liga, scored at least three goals in three of them. While they can match their longest winning streak against them in the competition. Five or two occasions between 1963 and 1965, and between 1992 and 1994. Barcelona now lost in the last six home games against Valencia La Liga since a 2 1 defeat in April 2016. Barca suffered their second defeat in La Liga this season and the last match day against Almeria and have not lost successful games in competition since October 2021 with Ronald Koeman as coach. Valencia won, the last, Valencia won the last game in La Liga and need to run a five straight defeats in competition. They have not won two in a row in the same league season since March 2022. Barca decided to cross the top. Five European leagues with the highest percentage of goals scored from inside the box this season, along with Napoli. Okay, so very, very good insights, and I think the stats are very insights are very generally positive. And for this game, guys, it's a very tricky game because I know people are gonna tell me, "Oh, look at Valencia's position in the league table; they're nineteenth place." And I understand, I understand that. However, I don't know if you heard the the, the insight coming into this game. They just beat a Sociedad. Sociedad is third in the league at their stadium. You know, as well as the fact that I just feel like for me against these kind of low block teams, especially with Valencia fighting so much on the line, relegation, they're going to be putting everything on the line. They're going to be defensively compact, defensively solid. And I remember the last time we played against them, we even struggled to beat them. We had, we it took a late Lewandowski goal for us to get all three points in that game, and that was a game we could have easily lost because I believe Valencia scored an offside goal. If I'm not mistaken. So this is a game I'm extremely worried about. And I think Vajabi in particular, what is he going to do with the back line? Is he going to rotate like he did against Almeria, right? So I think that's an important thing. Let's go look at the 11 that the foot mob predicts. And I'll tell you whether I agree or not. Would I be surprised? Ter Stegen and goal, obviously he won't change that. There is no to that. I can ensure you that Ter Stegen will stay, will 100% play. Now, for the left back position. Jordi Alba. Now, I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, I actually think that is very possible simply because Alejandro Balde played midweek, and I think Jordi Alba would give him the go for this one. Would I do it personally? I wouldn't do it, but I could understand why I wouldn't do it. Christian said, obviously, he's gonna, uh, he should be available for this game. You know, he didn't play at all against Real Madrid, so hopefully he's fit because I've been hearing some negative reports that say that he may not be he may be injured, which is a huge, huge blow. He's a very important player for Barcelona, of course. Araujo, of course, will start. He's one of our best center backs. Kunde will start. Now, I'm surprised that... um, Yeah, actually, that's a good 11. I think that's a good, good 11. Maybe we could potentially see Kunde being rested because I actually do think Kunde needs rest. So I'd actually maybe opt in for Roberto uh, instead. You know? But yeah. Anyways, Young, Busquets, Kessie, Roberto. That's the midfield four. I mean, I probably expect that. Uh, maybe we can see Roberto play a right back, but that the midfield is pretty much, uh, uh, pretty much spot on. And then the attack is where I have big concerns. Ferran Torres and Rafinha, guys. I'm gonna say this right now. Ferran Torres is terrible as a striker. He's not even that good in general. But if you want to get the best out of him, you don't play him at striker. You simply don't. And Rafinha, man, I'm sorry, I'm not really been convinced with Rafinha. As for Valencia, their key players is obviously Mar. Mamadov, I don't know how to pronounce the goalkeeper name. Uh, let me just try. Mamadov, Davashili. Yeah, he's been one of their best players. Great player. Dikabi has been really good. I think Yunus Musa has been. Um, Gimen has been good. Hugo Doro, Leno. Uh, Yunus Musa is a player to look out for. Obviously, he's an American player, so hopefully, um, it's kind of a tough situation for me because I kind of want him to do well, but at the same time, I don't want him to do well. So I guess the the thing is like, I guess the ideal thing is that he has a good game and we still win. That's probably the ideal thing for me. But, um, yeah, look at the injuries, man. Gavi suspended for this game. Lewandowski, Pedri, Dembele are still out. And you look at Valencia's injuries. Nico Gonzalez is out. Marcus de Sosa is out. Dominic is out. Jose Gaia is out. Their captain, Cavani, Palista. So, yeah, Valencia's form coming into this game is pretty dreadful. It's really dreadful, guys. Really dreadful. And for Barca, man, we're coming into this game in a little bit better form. Not that much better, to be fair. And, yeah, the head-to-head -head record, man, is 19 wins for Barca, 9 draws, and 4 wins for Valencia. As for a score prediction for this game, guys, I am not very confident in this game. I know we got the result midweek against Real Madrid, but let's be real. We were very defensive in the game. We, we didn't really play that well. I wasn't that impressed. 
and I'm going to go with a nil-nil draw. Normally, I don't predict these kind of scores, but I really just don't see any goals being scored here in this kind of game. Hopefully, I'm wrong because I want Barca to get the three points because we need to win today. We need to win tomorrow, man. We have to get the win tomorrow, man, because if we don't, Real Madrid can capitalize about because they're playing later than us. So Real Madrid will know the result of our game before they even play their game. So hopefully we win. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys are new and considering that subscribe button, like this video, enjoy. Uh, make sure you also consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members' videos, members' streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.